in light of that shooting that critically injured the fairway officer coming up tonight at 630. Hear how one organization is carving out a space to talk about trauma. While one officer is fighting for his life, another local officer is starting a new chapter after he was shot in the head three years ago. Today, Kansas City, Missouri police officer Tyler Moss took medical retirement. I've been honored to cover his recovery in recent years, and today I couldn't help but notice how much has come full circle for this officer, his family, and his department. We are all so proud of you. It is my honor and privilege to advise that you are 1042. One last call over the radio for KCPD officer Tyler Moss. A 1042 signaling his final end of shift. It's a call and a ceremony many never thought Moss would live to see. Thinking of back to July 2nd of 2020 uh, and thinking I would be standing here today having this honor, um, I wouldn't have believed it, but I believe it now. Uh, you're an inspiration to all of us, and it's, it's been an honor uh, to work with you. After being shot in the head by a suspect, doctors initially gave Officer Moss a 1% chance of survival. But thanks in part to the fast actions of his fellow officers, he beat those odds. The people that helped Tyler that day, it was 7 minutes and 33 seconds from the time he got shot to the time that they were doing medical care on him. Those same officers were joined by countless others as they all sat vigil at University Health that night alongside Moss's family, all praying for positive news. There were a lot of heroes on that day, many of which are in this room. Tyler and I both want to take a moment to thank all of you. Not only did Moss survive, he's made remarkable strides in his recovery. Although he was unable to continue on patrol, he spent the last three years working with new recruits at the Kansas City Regional Police Academy. I can't thank you enough for being such an inspiration, showing your resilience to all of our, to all of KCPD, not just KCPD, but um, also outside of our department. And he leaves the department with a number of accolades, from a Purple Heart to a Medal of Valor. Perhaps not a huge surprise considering on his very first day, Moss helped save a woman who tried to commit suicide by setting herself on fire. There was no hesitation whatsoever, and he immediately was part of the group that grabbed him, put him on the ground, and then, or put her on the ground, we put her out, and then we got EMS there for her, and she ended up surviving that day. From saving a life to being the one whose life was saved, Moss's colleagues say he's always remained upbeat, determined to share his story to hopefully inspire others. You showed up and you went towards danger and you have given our police department, our community and everyone around something to rally behind, something to pray for and an example of not letting circumstances define you. For Moss, giving up was never an option. Instead, he leaned on his faith from the early stages of recovery to the difficult decision to retire from a profession he loves. I would say this has been the biggest part that's gotten me through. Uh, there's been a lot of rough days, a lot of sad days, a lot of days of mixed emotions, but one thing that has gotten me through is my faith. Something else that's made his journey possible? His family. However, this time, there was one person missing in the front row. Moss's grandfather. His grandfather was an important part of his life and had the honor of pinning the badge on him as he graduated from the police academy. But just as his grandfather was there for the start of Moss's law enforcement career, in a way, he was there for the end. Moss not only wore his grandpa's suit, he carried his picture in his pocket, a nod to his own personal hero and another way to bring his career full circle. I have to tell you, I think Tyler Moss is fantastic. He is such an inspiration. His faith is beautiful and his family is just wonderful. We should note Moss isn't going far. He's actually staying on with KCPD in a civilian role. He will be working in the evidence room as an inventory control specialist.